What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Time to open up some more car parts. So, she got a an all black grill for her car. Finally came in from China. So, this, hopefully this is the right shit and not some like random ass stuff. Or the kidney grills, is what they call it. Damn! Check that out. That is hot. Now, if we go take a look at her car now, you can see the silver. Should be a pretty easy install, but her car now has the silver around it. As you can see if it focuses sometime today. I don't know what to do. And as you can see, she's got the silver. So it gets rid of that and it's like a different design in here, which you guys will see later when I decide to install these. But probably do it like tomorrow or something because we're both tired and it's cold. And it's supposed to, the weather tomorrow is supposed to jump back up. And I think Friday it's supposed to be like 70, but windy. But there's cars and coffee Saturday morning in Amarillo. So we're undecided on that, but that's about the only thing going on this weekend. Really need to wash my car. I need to change my oil. That's about all we got. Hopefully, shithead over there pays me soon so I can order a brake kit. I've been looking at some stock tech rotors. I'm undecided on pads, but uh, hey, if any of you guys have some suggestions on 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 pads that you've ran, only pads I've really ran is the Carbo Tech XP10s, uh, and I'm thinking about some Hawks or some EBC Yellows. So. Let me know if you use, because I mean, I do street uh, racing, you know, and shit, daily driving, and then autocross is what I need to do for mostly. But I'm looking at drilled and slotted or dimpled and slotted rotors, but we'll see. All right, guys, welcome back to my dirty car. We're going to swap out her grills. I know you couldn't see in the last clip. See, these are single, and then these ones are like double slotted, so. It's gonna look sexy. I'm gonna set the camera up. Shit should be pretty simple. We got uh, eight screws, eight T25s, and then uh, you kind of just pull the bumper up, pop them bitches out, pop the new ones in. Pretty simple shit. All right. Well, we got the first one out. Wasn't too bad. You just gotta reach behind it and uh, push those little clips down all around we only broke one tab not too bad but now that one side's out it'll be a lot easier to get to the other side so we'll do a little time lapse for that one all right guys well you can see that other one came out real easy but this is the old one this is the new one don't mind our dirty cars but this looks a lot better i really like that piano black looking ass See the difference from the side view? Looks a lot better. A plus for me. Good choice, babe. What do you think? For you. Huh? Is it for you? You said A plus for me. Yeah, A plus for you. <laughs> yeah, for me. Yeah, for you. Get Alright, well that was quick and fun. She's happy. I think it's sexy. What do you say? Nothing. She says nothing. Okay. It just looks really good. My headlights need to get in. That's why. Yeah. Up next to her, she got some non-halogen black colored in the back. You guys will see. You got the octagon DRLs and shit. I'm really starting to fall in love with the front end of this car. I really think it needs a spoiler for the back though. You can do that. Yeah. That's that's a uh, approved spoiler for the rear. I think she should get different tail lights too, but that's just me. Right now we need to get wheels. She needs to get wheels. I'm gonna need rotors soon. And see, down in there, my brake pads are pretty low. And on the fronts now I have a nice, nice groovy lip here. Oh shit, it's got a nice groove there. Brake pads, you can't really see because of the glare. But, uh, let's see if we can get it to focus. No, it won't. But, yeah, definitely need brake pads and rotors. As soon as I get 
money from my shithead roommate, I will have those. These tires are dirty. My car really needs clean. My detailer has been really busy, so maybe I'll get in there today. We'll see. See what I can do. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Um, went and checked my catch can yesterday, I think it was, and that bitch was full. So I had to hurry up and empty it real quick. I forgot, well, I didn't have enough time to record it, but this is what was in it. Not too bad. Better than last time when it comes to uh, water to oil and junk ratio. But uh, yeah, it's mostly water, and I'm, I'm assuming fuel on the bottom, and then I don't know what that mixture of yellow junk is, but yeah. Last time it was like down to maybe probably here with junk, and then the rest was that. So, catch can's doing its job. Can't wait till the summer again to really see how much it does collect. It won't connect, collect as much water because it's not cold. Cold, hot, it hates moisture, and that's where it's getting trapped. But I'm gonna throw this shit in the attic, get out of the way, and uh, hope and pray her headlights get here sometime in the next year. What's up, homies? Fucking, her car looks so much better with those grills. Give her, give her a thumbs up for that one. Goodbye. I didn't even talk her into that one, but. I actually got off work way early. I usually get off at like 3.15. So, yeah, I got off like crazy early, but I'm going to pull the mats out of my car, wash those, and hopefully get the car detailed, and then we'll be on our way to Amarillo tonight, and we got cars and caffeine in the morning. Uh, really hoping I'll find some races tonight. I need to put the rest of the E85 I have in the car, and uh, yeah, my car's fucking filthy, so hopefully I can get that detail here very soon. All right, just did a bunch of running around, filled up the car with the rest of the E85 that I have, went and got gas. I took my roommate to an interview, came back, did the fuel, vacuumed out the interior, wiped everything down, and then went and picked him up, went and filled up the rest of 91, and now I'm about to go, hopefully, get my car detailed. Hopefully, I'm not sitting there too long. When I pass by, I think there was two cars sitting there. That was about an hour or so ago, so hopefully, I won't be too far back in line, but this car needs clean bad. Girlfriend gets off between a half hour and two and a half hours, so I don't want her to sit here bored, but she can pack her bag and get ready. But I'm trying to get more people to go to Amarillo tonight and stay. That way I have at least some people that I do know if we go to a meet to uh, conversate with and bullshit with. So I don't know. We'll see. But uh, hopefully we can get this car clean in a timely manner. All right. Well, I've had like the worst luck trying to get a detail today like uh my normal detailer he had to close early today so fuck me right it sucks but try to go somewhere else in town had no luck there either they were all booked so i started calling around amarillo and all these other places were booked and i finally found a spot that'll get me in tomorrow morning at like eight o'clock so i can't get as drunk as i wanted to tonight possibly but oh well um as you can see here this is why I want a detail so bad. I don't know how much detail hashtag that this shows, but it's pretty disgusting. Especially my wheels are just coated in this fucking, I mean, that's, that's pretty rough. That's, it's rough. Anyway, yeah, so we got that down. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Hopefully it's like a regular cars and coffee where people are leaving and acting stupid. Well, hopefully not really, but I want to see some, some cars get into it and Hopefully tonight we'll run into some races and shit. Uh, you probably won't see this video till I guess Saturday evening, but oh well. Lack of content, it's kind of killing me. There ain't much to do here during the week these days, but what can you do? Cross your fingers, we'll see some street racing later, and I'll uh, talk to you when we get to Amarillo. Well, I just recorded this whole thing, and apparently I didn't record it or it just deleted itself, but we got to the hotel, Amarillo. Uh, this hotel's same parking lot as, uh, what's it called? Texas Roadhouse. And we just went and got our buzzer and decided to walk over here to see if it had any vacancy, and they did. And it's pretty cool because the back door and my car is like right there, and there's no one back there at all. So, but they don't have cameras, so that sucks. But the room's nice, and we got a nice discount. So, let's check out this window. Oh, no shit. My car is right below us. That's my car right there. Oh, you guys can't see it because of the glare. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Boom. There's my car. Well, that's pretty lit. What's the chances of that? Wow. Very cool. 
We still got like, I don't know, 30 minutes until we gotta go back over to no, Texas Roadhouse, like but whatever, 20 minutes, but ready to eat. Then we got a car meet to go to, hopefully get some races in for the night. Then I'll end the video there and then start uh, Monday's video at the Cars and Coffee tomorrow. After driving around forever, finally found some cars. She's inside peeing right now, but uh, maybe we'll get a few races in. We drove around town for a bit. High Texas Roadhouse, that shit was really good. I'm starting to get tired. My leg, I got like a Charlie horse or something. That shit hurts, but maybe we'll get a few runs in tonight and get some sleep. We gotta be up pretty early and get the car detailed, so I'll probably end the video with some races, and if not, or whatever, I'll uh, catch you on the flip-flop.